So today I want to talk about success a little bit. What does it look like to have your videos be successful? If you're just starting out, you're just starting with something brand new like I am, you probably will have to adjust your expectations and your idea of success early on because it's really hard to get going with this stuff. But for those of you that are running small businesses or you have a personal brand, and you already have an audience on a lot of social networks. As you start making videos, you have to define what success looks like to you. Because the types of videos you're making might be completely different depending on what your idea of success is, what your end goal is. Let me give you a few random ideas just in case you're not sure what success might look like for your video campaign. Maybe success to you is just getting as many eyes on your video as possible. You're looking for something like brand awareness and that might be the metric that you choose to use to measure that. Or maybe your video has a specific call to action to visit your website. So you're looking at the amount of people that viewed the video versus how many people actually click through to the website. Maybe through using video, you're just trying to build your audience. You know, you're looking for more likes on Facebook and more follows on Instagram. Or maybe you're looking for people to actually interact with that video content. So you're looking for people to share it, you're looking for them to comment on it, they're liking it, they're favoriting it, they're sharing it with their friends, that sort of thing. Those are just a couple quick ideas and they're not exhaustive in any means. There's a lot of different ways to measure success of your video campaign. I think such a big part of having a successful video campaign in your marketing is being able to define success. So you know if you reached it or not and if you didn't reach that, you're able to go back and rethink it rework it and re-strategize and be able to get back out there and try it again. And all this talk about success really gets back to kind of bigger questions in life. How are you defining success in your own life? Unfortunately, we don't have a Google Analytics dashboard for those sorts of things, but how are we thinking about what we want in life and where we want to get to and how do we define whether or not we have gotten there? I find the video strategy and the video analytics side really simple and really easy. It's clear cut but the life stuff of setting goals and defining success is a lot harder. That's the stuff that I don't have figured out. But I think in some ways, it's easier to define success in your video marketing because it's a little bit more short term. You might be thinking about it in terms of six months or maybe even a year, but that all seems a lot more manageable than say the next 50 years of your life. And I know I talked about this in one of my earlier videos, but I find it more helpful to define the direction that you wanna go rather than the specific destination. If you have that direction that you wanna head in, it's a lot easier to define specific goals, more short term, just like your video marketing. You can set six month goals, you can set one year goals, and those are a lot more manageable, they're a lot easier to get started and actually achieve that success than say a five year plan or a 10 year plan or a 20 year plan. That is really intimidating. And I think if we can break this up, if we can look at it in smaller pieces and know that we're still heading in the right direction, but we're achieving things, you know, we're knocking things off of our list, that's gonna make us all a lot more successful. All right, those are my ideas on success. So thank you so much for watching. Like always, if you want to like this video, you can hit the thumbs up button. If you want to dislike it, that's fine too. You can put any comments that you might have or questions down in the comment section. And if you're not already subscribed, you can go ahead and do that now. Um, and if you want to be notified every time I upload a video, you can add notifications up in the notification bell up top. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.